bruv, you are having a bubble. Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to FIFA Fever. Now I haven't done one of these in quite a while just for the simple fact that FIFA kept on freezing for me on the Xbox 360 as most of you will know so I couldn't really record any decent gameplay to show you guys but now Xbox One and Next Gen is here, FIFA's once again awesome and there's no, been no problems for me so far which is a good sign I guess so yeah we're going to get straight back into the series as you can tell that was the team I was currently using. If you want to go back and watch the previous episodes I'll leave them in the link in the description below of course as well as buy cheap FIFA coins if you're looking for cheap ultimate team coins but I just quickly want to say thank you to you guys for the support on my recent two videos it's been absolutely awesome if you want to check out yesterday's video I'll leave it down below in the description a like is always massively appreciated it helps out so much so if you could drop a like it'd be awesome I'm not going to talk about the gameplay too much in this video to be honest I mean I want to kind of make this series a more interactive series with you guys so I'm not just talking about the gameplay all the time because I know that can get pretty boring so what I'm going to do is have like a Q&A section in every single episode so if you want to leave a question ask me anything you want leave it in the comment section below it can be about anything you know my real life stuff or just questions about FIFA and I'll pick like three or four questions per episode put them on the screen and give you guys an answer let me know if that's a good idea or not but we get a few early chances here in the game I mean this guy wasn't too great as you've seen his team wasn't the greatest but Carlos Eduardo there doing a nice little wacka wacka unfortunately not being able to score but let's move aside from the gameplay and talk about next gen FIFA for a little bit in my opinions on it I mean it's 10 times better than the one on Xbox 360 I felt like that game was pretty unfinished I mean they sold us a broken game in my opinion I mean for some of us anyway the game just kept freezing and freezing there's a lot of gameplay issues but on next gen it seems to be pretty decent so far I guess it's only been out for a week so we'll give it a few months or weeks before we can judge it properly but for me now FIFA is absolutely amazing to play I think I'm doing a career mode once again I mean I cancelled the one that I did at the start of FIFA 14 purely because it froze every single game which was so so annoying but I'll start the Leeds United career mode off again hopefully within the next couple of weeks because I know a lot of people did actually want to see that career mode doesn't get the best views on my channel but I'm not bothered you know as long as people want to watch it I'm definitely down for making them kind of videos but that game ends 3-0 after that goal by Moreno. They're a pretty comfortable win for me. That guy wasn't the greatest, but we're only in Division 9 at the moment, so it's only going to get harder, you know, going through the divisions and whatnot. And skilling in this game, I'm just getting used to it once again because I couldn't really play much on 360. But on your screen now is the 50k packs. Now, I see a lot of people in their Road to Glories open packs, and a lot of their viewers seem to enjoy that. I mean, I wouldn't open packs every episode, maybe every 10 episodes. Would you like to see me open a 50k pack? Leave a comment saying yes or no and I'll transfer some coins off my other account and maybe open one if people want to see that I'm, I don't know it makes the series kind of more interesting I guess in some ways but that guy here is our next opponent and he has a Barclays Premier League team with Hernandez and Daniel Sturridge up front now Sturridge is an absolutely amazing player for Liverpool this season unfortunately he's injured for a couple of weeks I believe Liverpool actually lost 3-1 on the weekend what a surprising result that was this guy by the way was a much better player than the last one I mean I was pulling off a few skills here and there but you know he could defend which was uh, kind of awkward for me so I had to just go ahead and try and score any goal I possibly could I mean I did a few skills here and there but Renteria here gets the ball and finishes it with ease and he's a great silver striker by the way only three star skill moves but he's so strong got great pace and he's pretty tall so you know he does the job up front by himself in the 4-2-3-1 formation now that's probably one of my favorite formations in this game let me know what your favorite formation is because I'm thinking about switching it up to maybe 4-1-2-1-2 just so I can kind of hybrid out the team maybe get a few other skillers like Ben Arfa or Elia in the team just to you know make it a bit different instead of just having a full Brazilian team that's a nice little skill run there by Moreno but unfortunately he's unable to finish and the game ends 1-0 a pretty boring game indeed in terms of gameplay but you know that guy was pretty decent so you know you got to give him credit you can't just say your opponent's bad every single game you know you got to give your opponents respect in my opinion but that is the end of this episode guys I hope you enjoyed it remember to drop a like if you enjoyed it leave some questions if you want to be featured in the next episode and should i buy that 50k pack a one-off for you know next episode or should i just leave it and carry on and trade my way to a pretty decent team it'll probably take me longer but you know i'm willing to do that if people want to see it but anyway guys i'll see you tomorrow with the next episode of fifa fever take care